tonight about a Soviet era plane that crashed in the Florida Everglades today. It appears to be the same plane that a Cuban pilot used to defect from his country to South Florida last month. Local Sense Christian De La Rosa is live in West Broward with what happened here. Christian. So bizarre. We are coming to you live from Max Fish Camp off of Chrome Avenue. This is the closest we've been able to get to that crash site. And like you said, this plane making news twice. This is the craziest end to a historical landing of a Cuban aircraft. A Soviet era Cuban plane crash landing in the Florida Everglades Monday. It came down around 1.30 in the afternoon, about 15 miles west of the Opelika Executive Airport. Authorities say there were two people inside. Both are unharmed. Investigators have not released the names of the pilot or passenger. The plane does appear to be the same one we saw arrive in South Florida just a few weeks ago, reportedly from the communist island. The tail number matching the aircraft initially landed by a Cuban defector at the Dade Collier Training and Transition Airport back on October 21st. Officials are now investigating who was trying to fly the plane and why. How in the heck did they get it to get in the air in the first place? This plane is a relic. The crash site is near Max Fish Camp. The plane itself went down on top of a levee. Camp owner Marshall Jones knows the area better than most. The marsh outside of that area is about waist deep water and about three feet of muck below that. This could have certainly ended differently. It could have ended much differently. Again, so many questions still to be answered. Who is trying to fly this plane and why? By the way, the man who initially piloted that plane from Cuba to South Florida, identified as 29-year-old Ruben Martinez Machado. At last check, he is still in ICE custody. We're live in West Broward tonight. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Christian, thanks a lot.